without the light or oh, the darkness come hold through the night mm, the shadows will run mm, fend off the enemy Sing out the jubilee With all the fire we can breathe We're singing all day And you can't tame it High tide, low tide You know night time The morning time, yeah We're going strong Headed up down the river Oh Lord, I feel the reveling I feel a change on the So this, you know, song is pulling from some very, you know, early blues, Southern, you know, American blues rock something. It's not really rock. It was before rock ever came into the picture. Um, gospel blues something. Okay. So uh, drum part wise is super simple, but... It's very important uh, to really pay attention to your dynamics. And really, this song is creating a vibe. And we want to support that vibe and that feel as best as we can, uh, which means using a lot of uh, interesting textures, sounds, um, things that you maybe would not normally do. So, if you saw in the, uh, when I was playing through, in the beginning, uh, I, I put my hand on the, on the drum, on the floor tom. I kept a very light 
pulse on the bass drum. Very soft. And same thing with the tom. I was just very lightly hitting it because when I was listening to the to the recording, it really had a very, you know, dead drum kind of sound. There was nothing, you know, not a lot of sustain or ringing drums. It was just boop, 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 you know, mimicking, kind of creating the sound of, you know, a group of people stomping on the ground. So we want to recreate that as best we can. Uh, I'll just demonstrate what I did once again. Okay, uh, really the bass drum really needs to be more felt than it is heard. Uh, same thing with the, with the floor tom. Uh, if you have some kind of mallet, like a, a stick with the white ball on the top, even better. But if not, a normal stick is totally fine, uh, just like I played it. Now, moving on to all the... There's a lot of, you know, rim click, some hand clap stuff happening. Maybe the choir will be doing a lot of the hand claps and you're just kind of going along with the rim clicks. That's totally okay. Um, uh, yeah, all I was doing was just a kick, rim, floor tom, rim, right? This is the first chorus. Okay, you could even just keep the 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 bass drum and the rim click, uh, you know, simpler. So, that's totally fine. Uh, now, in the instrumental, there's like two different pitched, you know, rim clicks happening. So if you kind of tap on your drums, you'll figure out what is, you know, a low tone and a high tone. For sure, the snare is going to be the highest. And you can kind of pick and choose if you want to even use the bass drum. Go for it. Okay, I, I just went with the floor tom. Uh, it was totally fine. Uh, even if you want to experiment and try hitting the rim on different parts of the stick, you'll notice the, the sound will, will change. Okay, more toward the middle, you're going to get a deeper kind of fatter tone. Toward the top, it's going to be a lot more mm, thin. Okay, uh, don't be afraid to even hit the, the shells of the drum. Totally works too. Okay, you're not going to hurt the drum. Don't worry. Uh, right, toward the end, uh, or in the middle and also toward the end, you hear a uh, tambourine come in. So... I, in the playthrough, I didn't have the tambourine on me because I just didn't grab it soon enough. Uh, but I have it now. And if you have a tambourine, you can just put it on your hi-hat and uh, just hit it. Uh, super simple. Honestly, that's about everything. Um, and I'll leave it at that. This, this song will test your patience. So just be patient with it and uh, create a cool vibe. That's it. Ciao, hoy.